that the little baby Indian spotted turtles have finally started to hatch. These two are some of the first two to have pipped and fully come out. Oh my goodness. Look at how adorable this little guy is. We are going to have to monitor these turtles hatching very closely because sometimes while the turtles are hatching, they can get stuck in their egg and sometimes die. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day so far. Now for today's video, I am just so excited to announce that the little baby Indian spotted turtles have finally started to hatch. If you guys remember this video right here, you will remember when the female actually laid her eggs and it's been about, I don't know, like 60 days now, roughly like 50, 60 days. And well, they have finally started to hatch. And of course I had to capture it for all of you. So we're going to hop right into today's video now. Guys, I just came into the incubator room and it's so funny, like literally yesterday at midnight, the same exact time, right now it is 12.06, oh my gosh, guys, yesterday at exactly 12.06 on the dot, I actually had my Lewis Eye Hybrid lay eggs, so... That's actually insane that it's literally at the exact same time. So anyways, it is finally time for me to show you what started hatching out here at the house. I am so excited for it. So without further ado, we are going to hop right into it now. And here they are. I am so excited to announce that my Indian spotted turtles have finally started to hatch. I mean, just look how cool these guys are and just look how tiny they are. These two are some of the first two to have pipped and fully come out. I mean, you could see just how tiny they are when they hatch. I mean, you guys have seen the adults. The adults are actually quite large, but when they hatch, I mean, they all start out just this small. I mean, these aren't just my absolute favorite little turtles. And as you guys have seen with pretty much all reptiles that this little guy right here, if you look at his yolk sac right there, it's probably gonna take him about a day to absorb that yolk sac. But other than that, these little guys are just absolutely adorable and perfect. Let's actually grab this little guy right here as well. We're gonna grab him so you guys can see. This other one is just slightly bigger than this little guy. So we're gonna take these two right here and we're gonna place them right here in this little cup. And we've gotta do a little more of investigative work. We gotta see who else is hatched out and I already see another one that's hatched out. I mean, all of these are pretty much all starting to hatch. I mean, that one has not started, but you can see pretty much all the other ones have already started. You can see this little guy right here. He's just starting to peek his head through. Oh my goodness. Look at how adorable this little guy is. I mean, look at this, new life. One of my favorite things throughout all of this is actually getting to bring new life into the world. I mean, that is probably the most rewarding thing of all. All right, we're gonna move this egg right here because, well, there's nothing in it, and we're going to take this little guy right here. He looks like he's all covered in perlite, and buddy, look at this guy, look at him. He's covered in perlite. We're just gonna just move that off of him, and let's take a look at him. This is, guys, this is my first time looking at him. This is your first time looking at him. These little Indian spotted turtles are just so exceptionally gorgeous. And into the little tub you go, little guy, there you go. And well, it does not look like any more have actually emerged from the egg. This one's another empty egg right there. We're just gonna move them off to the side. And well, again, it is midnight, so we are going to wait until the morning time. And I bet by the time I wake up, all the rest of these little turtles will have hatched. The Indian Spotteds are now inside of my new big incubator. That way I can view it nicely because before it, they were like right up here. It was really hard to see them. The Indian Spotted Turtles are inside of the incubator and well, I'm going to head off to bed now. I'm just absolutely exhausted and I will be back with all of you in the morning and hopefully by then the rest of the turtles will have hatched. The next day. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. It is now the morning time, and well, we gotta go inside and check the incubators. We have to see if some more turtles have hatched, and oh my gosh. Guys, I want you to go right now. There's a lot of them have hatched. Remember, there were 17 turtle eggs, but I want you to stop what you're doing and go comment down below. How many do you think hatched out? Have all of them hatched out? Have half hatched out? Or have just a few hatched out? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Oh my gosh, it looks like most of them have hatched out. They're all inside of there. Let's turn the light on. Oh my goodness. So, looks like they've hatched out. There's just a bunch of these Indian spotted turtles in there. But wait, wait. 
Before we actually take them out, we are going to actually set up their little area. We don't want to take them out of the incubator and not have water to immediately put them in. We have three of them already outside and in a cup from last night. They are in a nice moist cup, but now we are going to head in the garage and actually set up a nice little tub for these baby turtles before we take them out of the incubator. And this right here is the tub that we are going to be putting the Indian spotted turtles in. Now this tub right here, I don't believe it's going to be able to fit all of them, but it will surely be able to fit, you know, most of them. So to get this started, we've got some well water right here. The reason why we use well water is, well, the well water does not have any nasty contaminants such as chlorine or other chemicals. So we're just going to fill this up to, you know, the water line up to the basking platform. We're going to fill, 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 fill. We're filling and we are done. So right in here right now, this is probably about a solid, like, I don't know, one to two inches, which is absolutely perfect for the baby turtles. Now, these are the ones that came out last night, and well, we're going to put them inside of the water now. We're going to put them right here, and we're going to add them in. We're just going to put them in in three, two, one. Let's see if he starts swimming. Nope, nope, okay. Well, he didn't want to swim. We've got the next one, and this little guy right here is hiding. Oh, hi there, bud. How you doing? There you go, and we've got the next one, and look at this. Look at this. This little guy is already swimming, doing good, and I'm sorry about that little glare right there. I just, I, I really can't help it. So I actually decided to put this tub right up here on the rack just so you guys could get a better view of the Indian Spotted Turtles. Now the reason why I like to use this easy rack system is because it's very easy to clean. But I think I'm going to actually set all the turtles up in a 10 gallon tank. But for now we're going to put the hatchlings inside of this tub until they are established. And now that we got the three little Indian Spotted Turtles set up, it is time to go back into the incubator and get all of their brothers and sisters out. I am in the incubator room now and I've pulled the tub out of the incubator and well take a look at them right here here they are in three two one oh my goodness it looks like all the indian spotted turtles have hatched and well there's probably going to be about 15 of them in here but it looks like they're all buried so basically we're going to take them one by one right here let's look at them we're going to have to clean them off because these little guys right here look like they're all dusty and covered in the perlite now for those of you that are new to the channel the perlite is this white stuff you see this white stuff that you see is the incubation media it's what holds the moisture and helps the eggs actually develop so we're just going to go right now and we're going to just pull all of these little guys out Look at them. I mean, these guys are just so, so adorable. And to think that these guys start out so small and one day can end up so big, I mean, it is just absolutely amazing. I am going to have these turtles available for sale to Florida residents only once I get some paperwork back and the site is up and running. Now, I know I've said that for a while now, but I'm serious. These turtles can actually only be sold within the state of Florida because of certain laws regarding the Endangered Species Act. But I mean, who wouldn't want to have one of these gorgeous little baby turtles? Check this out, guys. We have the remaining 14 Indian spotted turtles inside of this tub right now. They're looking a little dusty, so we're actually going to have to take these little guys right outside of the garage. I'm going to get them rinsed off now and set up into their new habitat. And before we actually set them up, we're going to have to get all the perlite and the dust off them. You can see all that white stuff on them. All the perlite and dust, they're covered in that. So we're going to go right here. We're going to grab this well water right here, and we're going to rinse them off. And you guys are going to see just the difference when we start pouring the water in, just how brightly colored these little guys become and you can see almost immediately when we add that water in that they just become so incredibly active they all right kiddos now that you are nice and rinsed off we're gonna have to add you to your new home so basically what we're gonna do with these guys here is we're gonna add them in here with the rest you can see that these guys are nice and active and just for overnight till they get acclimated we're gonna put all of them inside of here so we're gonna start right now we're just gonna take literally like a handful we're gonna take one two three just like that and we're gonna take a fourth right there just as so and how i'm holding them right now is fine and we're gonna add them in right now we're just gonna see how they like it look at it these guys are just acclimating so well to their new little home let's get the underwater perspective now like i was saying earlier this is only a temporary setup once these guys actually get established they start eating well we're gonna move them into a big tank now the reason why i don't like to add tiny hatchling turtles into large tanks is because a lot of times these turtles in very large spaces can become very stressed out and also when you're trying to feed tiny little baby hatchling turtles sometimes it can be quite hard for them to actually find food so the reason why we put them in a smaller area is because it is nice and easy for them to find the food 
And there they are. The Indian spotted turtles are happy and healthy. I mean, you can see just how active these little guys are. Now, we're actually not going to feed them for about a day or so. And the reason being is most of these little guys have not yet absorbed their yolk sac. So just like the iguanas and the red foot tortoises, you can see that right there, that little pink spot, that is actually his yolk sac. So that right there is going to give him food for the next day or so, but he's pretty much already absorbed it. So most likely tomorrow or the next day, we are going to give these guys their first meal. And what we feed these little guys is Zoomed Aquatic Turtle Pellets. Now guys, what I want you to do right now is stop what you're doing and go comment down below a squad name for these little baby turtles. I mean, what do you guys think we should call them? They are just so, so adorable. And again, let me show you them right here from this perspective. I mean, they're also quite curious, quite inquisitive. I I mean, just look at them. And again, if you guys are Florida residents, in the near future, in the next couple weeks, I will be offering these guys available for sale. You guys will have to provide a copy of your Florida driver's license just because I am not allowed to sell them to non-Florida residents. Getting to just reach my hand in here and grab just a absolute handful of little critically endangered turtles is just one of the best feelings ever. Getting to add more of these species to this earth is just absolutely amazing because in the wild, over in India, there is not many of these turtles. They are going extinct due to poaching, deforestation, as well as habitat destruction. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching the little baby turtles hatching out. Baby season is on the way, and it is my favorite time of the year, getting to actually see my year's worth of work, feeding all pay off when we get to bring new baby turtles, tortoises, and iguanas into the world. I mean, it is just absolutely amazing. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up and make sure to go comment down below a squad name for these little Indian spotted turtles. And guys, if you are not subscribed already and it is your first time on the channel and you enjoy the content, you want to see more turtles, tigers, lions, iguanas, all kinds of crazy animals, well, what are you waiting for? Go right down below, hit that subscribe button, and tap that little notification bell, and you will be notified whenever I post.